rocket rope for the Atari 2600. Now this was an arcade game that I played very little in the arcade. As a matter of fact, this uh, video will probably be fairly short because I totally suck at playing this game, both the arcade version and the 2600 version, and also the ColecoVision version. Basically any version of this game, I can't play with the darn. Uh, I do not have the coordination to, to climb these crazy ropes and stun the, the enemies. Uh, I tried playing the game on the easiest level, on MAME, and I still got my butt kicked. <laughs> it's it's a cool game. It's it's kind of neat in the gameplay mechanics. You know, you're shooting that rope between the, the uh, levels, and you climb up the rope and do all kinds of stuff. But you got to watch out for the enemy critters because they'll get on the rope and twing it to make you fall off. And it's just mayhem all the way around. There are some people out here they really kick butt on this game, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> but it's still a neat arcade game. Like I said, it's not one I played a lot in the arcades. I uh, probably played just a few times when I first saw it come out, and I just never gave it another thought. Uh, it was basically a waste of quarter for me because I didn't last very long. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to talk about the 2600 version. This was put out by Coleco. Now, this is a nice little diversion from their typical boxes that they would do. It had like the arcade machine on there sometimes. We have a full picture, which is actually kind of cool. You see the little cavemen down here, which are some of your enemies. They will bop you on the head if you try to climb up on the, uh, the ledge. All right, there's the peacock. You collect its feathers, or you try to get to the peacock itself. It's, it's a very interesting game. I like the box. The box art I really like. The back of the box I really, really like. Full color. A picture back here. Pretty awesome. I like this guy peeking down here. Kind of reminds me of Jack Black from the Pitfall commercials. <laughs> anyway, in the box, of course, we have the standard Clico Atari 2600 cartridge. The white ones with the arcade marquee logo. You could definitely pick these out of a pile of cartridges. Of course also we have the Coleco Industries Consumer Quality Manager contact for the warranty registration. And we have the instruction manual Rock and Rope 1983 by Konami. So we got here a legendary quest. Is the Golden Rock merely a myth, or does it really exist? Find out in Coleco's Rocket Rope, a game of skill and speed. In your quest for the Golden Rock, you'll travel through a historic landscape made of hazardous ledges and treacherous cliffs. Scale the heights with your trusty rope, and use your powerful flashlight to daze the lumbering dinosaurs and the swift-footed cavemen. Fortunately, the Golden Rock has left a trail of magical eggs. Get them as you go and use your powers to make the dinosaurs and cavemen disappear. But watch your step. If you side slip on the edge of a cliff, you'll plummet to the depths below. The treasures of the Golden Rock are yours when you reach the summit. But you must journey on. The fabled bird awaits you at the top of another perilous climb. And I've never seen any other game screens because I never get to the Golden Rock. Which looks like a peacock to me anyway. Choose your challenge. Game one, one player skill one. That's what I want to play. And even then, I still cannot get to the top of the freaking ledge. Shows how the controls are used. Blinded by the light. Yeah, get those eggs. Yeah. The eggs are, are definitely beneficial to try to get as much as possible. Because if you save your flashlight and you got an egg, where you absolutely need it, it'll make the enemy disappear, which could be an advantage. Even doing that, I still can't play the game. Pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and plug this, plug this into the 2600 and uh, watch how badly I play. Alright, rock and rope. Game number one. Yes, that's the game I'm going to play. Let the abuse begin. 
So I gotta hit up joystick to shoot your rope. Get that egg. You can't drop too far. I get across when he comes down earlier, I'll tweak my uh we'll stun him. Stun him again. Okay, let's get across. Get across! Go, 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 go! Get an egg! Climb, you fool! Climb! Oh, no! <laughs> Dang it. Uh. I never did buy this game when it came out back then because the arcade version frustrated me so much. Why would I want to have this game at home? As you can see, I am terrible. I mean, graphically it looks pretty good. It's not bad looking. Oh, go, 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 for he tweaks the thing. Oh no, oh no. Oh, he got me. Oh, that's aggravating as all get out, man. What is that joke to son of a potato? I can't get off the first screen. Oh, and I walked off the end. You gotta push up to get on the line. Uh. Come on, climb, you fool! Stun him. Get the egg, get the egg. Goodbye, caveman. Come on, climb, climb. Oh, no. No! <sighs> really? Try it again. It's like, uh, how long can I play the game before I get totally frustrated? I wish I was better at this game, because the upper levels look really cool. Oh, no, you don't. No! Ah! Uh, gotta push up to grab the rope. I am just not coordinated. Get up there. Stay on the rope. Get the egg. Make that guy disappear. And walk off the edge. It's got some cheerful music. I think this is one of the uh, better translations to the Atari that Coleco did. There we go. That time I got on the rope. Oh, there we go. Hey. Go. No, no, no. No. Oh! <sighs> Almost made it. Off the edge. <laughs> well, the rock looks really well drawn. I like the uh, rainbow tail, it's kind of cool. Climb, you fool! Climb! 
Oh, no you don't. There we go. Go, 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 go! I'm almost there. Go, 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 go! Oh! Yes! I finally reached the top! It's a miracle! Stage two. Oh boy. Willie will die very quickly. As you can see right there. <laughs> 14,120. Anyway, that's Rock and Rope on the Atari 2600 by Coleco. As always, thanks for watching.